Doctor, their uh, breast cancer is one of the most talked about forms of cancer. You talk about beating that and still maintaining your health. Can you talk a little bit more about how that can be done? Now, breast cancer and prostate cancer are actually an epidemic. Mm -hmm. And when we focus on breast cancer, we're making some progress, but not a lot of progress in conventional oncology. And I think this, the, what's happening with breast cancer is a good intro into what's happening in cancer, in the cancer field on its own. So we really have to understand as much as we can the biology of the specific breast cancer. And it's a field that is really growing and expanding as we talk. I mean, I'll give you an example. If I have, right now I'm working with a certain breast cancer patient who is just about to start therapy. And we have tissues just from the core biopsies. And we can send them to a test called Target, uh, target Now, which, which can carries Target Now, which gives us some information about sensitivity to chemotherapy, but it's more based on, 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 the, on the genome, on the genes. We can send it to Germany where they can run it through hundreds of, of genes. And if we had tissue, we can, we can culture live tissue and actually see, uh, see which chemotherapy is going to affect in a more accurate way. Mm -hmm. All of these things are happening right now. We still don't know which one of them is more reliable or less reliable. But that's the whole field which oncologists are slowly coming to, which is let's understand the individual tumor. Lobular breast cancer behave different than than, uh, than uh, ductal uh, breast cancer. But then there is another half, more than a half, which is a person. We've got to understand the person. The person, when we talked about meditation, if we understand the mind of the person, if we understand the emotion and the psychology of the person, if we understand the physiology of the person, then we have a much more individualized understanding of the person as a whole, and then we match it with the treatment and the biology of the tumor. And this is how we can really make a difference. And there's always a dance between the health of the person and between getting rid of the cancer. And when the cancer is ahead, it's okay if the person doesn't feel great. We got to stop the cancer. Mm -hmm. When the cancer gets better, it's time to change strategy and start working on the person. So when you, when you have this active dynamic understanding, you get better result and it's interesting for me you know in this conference where, where we are now where we are talking it's really the first time in years that I've started a lecture without talking about these philosophical principles because it's so much research research I, I, I wanted to share mm -hmm. but I find the doctors they skip this philosophy I spent years I spent dozens tens of years hours and hours of meditation and contemplation and reading on this very basic philosophical principles and I feel this is what allows me in my journey of healing myself and others to use very simple tools and to get very powerful results and breast cancer is a good example of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you talk about each cancer being a little bit different let's go back to hyperthermia can that method be effective no matter what kind of cancer somebody has or? No, it, it has a generalized benefit because yeah. cancer in general is sensitive to heat. Okay. But it, it definitely, we, you're right, it, it will make a difference with cancer we are dealing with. For example, if we have a cancer that is highly glucolytic, it really has a very strong Warburg effect. It produces a lot of lactic acid. Mm -hmm. Well, if I can stimulate this cancer furthermore by giving them glucose while I do the hyperthermia and then mm -hmm. put them under oxidative stress, I will kill the cancer better. Sure. If this cancer is, more, is surviving more on ketone bodies or on glutamine through alpha-ketoglutarate in the Krebs cycle, I may give them other blockers while I do the heat. Mm. I, I will pick a certain chemotherapy, not only based on the sensitivity of the tissue, but on the metabolism and the effect of the chemo on the metabolism. So it's a whole, it's a whole new door. Mm. It's a whole new door that... Uh, is being refined and I think I'm making some contribution to this field which makes me happy.